So let's take a look at um, Epson print layout on, on the iPad, which is one of my favorite ways of making prints. The, 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 the Mac, the interface. The functionality is, is all there. Uh, some of the tools are in slightly different positions. A little, little bit, but uh, one of the first things I'm going to do, obviously, I selected the printer, but I can also hit the printer side and see what my supply level is. So if I'm in a different room or something, uh, I know where we stand with uh, that particular printer. What I'm going to do is um, add an image, and um, I'm going to just going to pick it up from the camera roll, and we'll select the image and or images, and then just say add, and it now goes into film strip mode, and we've got this beautiful. It's like I rarely take selfies, selfies. but I, I couldn't resist. Yeah. It's pretty badass selfie. <laughs> so, if you want to put this paper in, I'll end up making the uh, the selfie from it and go through this. And I, I captured that on my iPhone, and I just airdropped it to your iPad. It was very very cool. So what we're going to do next is select the um, media type and. Um, what did we decide we were working with here? Legacy Plantine? Plantine. So, Plantine. And we have that up here, so we're going to select that. That takes care of the paper. Come back over. Paper size is already set for 1319. We are in the rear paper feed. Um, we can pick quality, max quality, max quality. <gasps> Carbon black. Because you're using Legacy Plantine, max quality. There we go. We learned that in our previous lesson. <laughs> um, black enhanced overcoat. Turn that off. And bottom edge quality priority. Wow, that shows those up again too, which we won't worry about for now. Now we're just set and all I have to do is just hit print. And I wanted to show how fast it actually, you make those selections and away you go and it's printing and it gives you a progress bar um, as it goes. Anyway, you can do the same thing with the iPhone. It works just as easily on the iPhone. It's amazing uh, how well they handle the interface through all these devices and uh, You'll get a percentage here. Now remember, we can't print another image until this is completely finished. So you basically kind of have to hang out. But what's amazing about it, here's a mobile device where you're working in a completely color managed workflow with ICC profiles for the printer and paper you're, yeah. you're using. It does convert into a horizontal. So if you really want the same kind of format that you have. And there's uh, some uh, other functionality in there if you'd like to have rulers or not. Oh yeah. Dana, would you please present yourself? Wow, look at the specular. <laughs> there he is. It's looking good. And you, know, you can see how the two match up. Let's just put them side by side. <laughs> and I shot this on my iPhone and I did color corrections, some basic stuff in the iOS app. And the other thing is, and this is good and bad, I was on vacation, so I wasn't shaving. Yeah. And you can tell the detail is that good. It is, it's, it is pretty good. And the iPhone did a really good job there. And if anybody has any doubts that you can't make a 13 by 19 print from your iPhone photo, let this be proof. Anyway, Dano, thanks. Um, it makes it really simple and it's really easy. And when it's easy, it actually becomes fun. And I'll have to uh, take this with me and take it home for my well, that's wife. That's all right. Because shoemaker has no shoes, right? Yeah, that's all right. You can have it. <laughs>